Well, look at our little bush baby. There it is, poking its head up. As I've said, bush baby, just to show you where it is. It's stuck in the middle of that tree, and they're starting to come out now to start their nocturnal movements. Now, I've lost it. There, there it is. It's low down on that tree. You can just see the long tail that's out. So this is the lesser bush baby. Oh, where have you gone now? I'm so busy watching my monitor to try to see where it is that I've lost it now. But somewhere in that thicket is where our bush baby has disappeared. But really cool to see one. Now Nancy, you wanted to know what a bush baby is. Well, bush babies are basically nocturnal primates. That's what they are. So they come out at night, they spend their day hidden, and then at night they come out and they start jumping from tree to tree to find food. Either they're going to feed off insects that are moving around, but what they will do is also farm trees. And when I say farm trees is that they'll go and they'll bite a tree, particularly sap producing trees like the terminalias that we get in this area. There's another one. There's actually two. See it there, sensor? To the, there it is on the bottom there it's jumped so there's another one that's just joined I don't know where it's gone now there it is it's just on the edge of that tree where has it gone now uh, there we go it just pokes its head out every now and then there we go. So, uh, can you see it there it's just on the back side of that there it goes so they come out and, and I was saying that they farm the trees so what they'll do is they feed on the tree and then they'll leave it and they'll only come back to it the following night. This poor bush baby's giving Senzo the run around. And the following night the sap has then run out and they'll be able to feed off it. So they are big exponents of sap on trees. That's what they really love to feed off. And you'll find that these little guys can jump and visit over a thousand trees in a single night. It just shows you how active they are. You can see already by this one the way it's jumping all over the place that they are very active creatures there it goes Senzo it's going across to the left you just see it moving from treetop to treetop it's almost got like hydraulic legs and there's huge amounts of power in those small little muscular tiny legs and they're able to then launch themselves from tree to tree as they go and if there's a gap between the trees well then they just bounce around between it so almost kind of lemur like as they come down and then bounce on the ground towards the next tree it's just hiding behind that branch there you can see its tail and its ears moving up a little bit Senzo there we go. There's its head and tail just behind the branch itself. This is probably one of the longest bush baby sightings I've had in a long time. Not the closest, but definitely one of the longest. Now, oh, Lara Mo, you say they're so quick. Well, yes, they're certainly giving Senzo a run for his money. It's not easy to follow these guys at night. Remember, Senzo's looking through a tiny little screen on his camera, so not easy to follow them at all. So well done, Senzo. That's very good. Justin, you want to know if I've got any bush baby horror stories? Uh, let me think. I do remember once being peed on at dinner with guests by a bush baby. So we had a bush baby at Lion Sands that used to come to our boma at dinner. And it used to sit in the big back, big jackalberry that hung over the tables. And I was sitting there feeding and it once then peed on my head and on my plate of food, which was not a very pleasant experience at all. But that was a different species that's a different species of bush baby this is the lesser galago and that was the thick tailed bush baby which is probably about 10 times the size of these little guys so it was quite a lot of urine and not very fun at all but a funny story nonetheless and well everybody else thought it was hysterical then thinking of other horror stories my brother has a nice horror story he used to have a friend that had a bush baby that was um orphaned and he grew and they grew with it and they and they looked after it and kind of raised this little bush baby and um Unfortunately, this bush baby was quite a handful, and its name was Monster because of its fact that it was a little handful. And then it came and bit my brother on the back here, it latched onto him, and cut him and bit him 22 times and drew quite a bit of blood. So they are quite hectic little things when they want to be, and so you've got to be a little bit careful of them. And they've got seriously sharp teeth when they want to. The other problem with bush babies is that anyone that I know that's actually had them is generally you've got to get used to the fact that you're just going to be covered in their urine. The reason why is because they pee on their hands. It makes their hands quite tacky and it allows them to grip themselves. So they pee on their hands and then they come climb all over you and you just get little urine stains all over your clothes. It's really not that, that much fun. So those are my horror stories about bush babies. Hopefully that will be the last of them. I really don't want any more. They can be quite feisty when they want to. Now there's one person out here that I'm sure a bush baby is far too scared to go anywhere near when Byron just flexes his muscles the bush babies run for cover but let's go across in case he does have any horror stories